Hello and welcome back to another vlog. Here we are in my parents' house on the farm. And right now, we've got the whole place to ourselves. Oh! What the heck? That jacket just fell off the coat rack. What? Oh man. Such good timing. But, we've got the whole place to ourselves. Yes! My parents left for Greece just 20 minutes ago. So we can just invite everyone over here. Have a little party. Why not? Why the heck not? Well, probably because we're going to leave soon as well. But, because we are here, all by our lonesome for a little while, I thought I'd give you a quick tour of the house. They don't care. They said it's fine. So why the heck not? Helene is actually outside in the car waiting. Waiting to go home, play some Guild Wars 2. I don't blame her. There's not much action here right now. We are actually going to drive down that road soon, visit my sister, whose house is... You probably can't see it right now, okay? Standard definition and all that. But her house is just down there by those trees, okay? You can't see it. It's like two minutes drive from here, and we're going to visit them, then we're going to go home. So it won't be long. But let's have a look at this house, because it is quite nice. Firstly, one of the most important features of the house. <laughs> this is Twinson. Twinson, how are you doing, girl? How's life? Good. Good. So, they left their dogs here, but they actually have a dog sitter come in for the next two weeks. She's going to live here. She is actually another person who lives on this farm. She lives just up the road there. You can't see her house from me, obviously. But she lives another two minutes in that direction. My sister lives in that direction. And uh, she's going to come stay here for two weeks. And her sole purpose is going to be to look after these gorgeous creatures. <laughs> I gave you a kissy. There you go. This is Twinson. She is one of my parents' dogs. The other one is called Sophia, and she's outside sulking. Sophia is very emotional. She's sulking. She's been sulking all day because she knew. Hey, Twinson, what's happening? They find that my parents have been away quite a few times over the years, and their dogs, they handle it quite well. And they get spoiled. They get spoiled rotten when my parents are gone. And they like it. That's good. So, we're going to start out here. I think we're actually going to find Sophia out here right now. Here she is. <laughs> Hello, little girl. You are beautiful, aren't you? Nero is actually outside in the car with his mommy, Helene. He wants to go home too. He doesn't want to go play Guild Wars, but he wants to go have a nap nap. Because I tired him out this morning. We played and played and played. And it just got a bit much for him. Now he wants to go home. Look at this girl. She is so sulky. I'll give you a kissy as well. Mwah. There you go. So sulky. So sulky. Let me scratch your tummy a little bit. Scratch your tummy a little bit. She's a nice girl. Hey? Oh, she's very nice. It is very nice. <laughs> yes. Oh, she's a nice little girl. She, she tries to be sulky, but you can see she's enjoying it. She likes these rubbles. Anyway. <laughs> I could probably spend like 20 minutes sitting here just recording her and talking about her. Because why not? Could do the same thing with Twinson inside. Or with Nero. I do that all the time, actually. But, we're going to start over here. This is their little, I would call it an entertainment room. But, there's a pool table here. Their sound system is here. All their CDs and stuff. There's a bright place. Okay. Then there's another one on the other side. Now, they built this house, eh? They built it pretty much from the ground up. So, this is their own design. This is how they wanted it. So, they've got the fireplace inside. They've got the fireplace outside, which I'll show you in just a second. And that's just for how, depending on how the weather is. If it's raining, if it's storming, whatever, they'll sit inside instead. If it's not, they'll be outside. Last night we were outside. Couches here, table, TV. That's for sports and stuff. Like, if people come over to watch the rugby or the cricket or whatever, then they do it there. They do it there. Because it's much nicer. It's much more sociable than sitting in the lounge. And the lounge is where they sit and vegetate every evening watching their series or movies or whatever. They like it. I mean, I don't blame them. And out here, let's just look out the window. There's a whole lot of firewood. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a lot of firewood. That's going to last them till at least like 2050 or something. Anyway, fridge. Nothing else really interesting in here. Nice big room though. Sliding doors on both sides so they can open it up totally in summer. And that's nice. And here's where we sit when they make the braai or barbecue for all of you that don't know what a braai is in the evenings. And trust me, they do that like all the time. Okay. All the time, whenever there's a chance to make a braai, my dad's like, yes, yes, let's do it. Let's just make a fire. Who needs the oven or the pan? No, we make a fire. Make our meat on the fire like it was intended to be made. More wood over there, like a ton of wood. And then there is their yard. It's pretty big, and there are a whole bunch of fruit trees down here. Okay, they planted a whole bunch of trees. I'm just running out quickly because it's so windy out here that I need to take my gaps when I can. 
There are like peach trees, plum trees, apricot trees. There's some citrus down here. That's a fig tree right there in the middle, the big one. Everything. They planted it here. They're waiting for it to grow. It's like a big triangle yard, but I would say you could just call the whole farm their yard because it's all theirs. So, whatever. And their dogs, they're not like they're constrained to the yard. They can just walk around where they want because why not? Here's the house from the outside. It's actually really nice. Okay. Big trees behind it. Quite noisy when it's windy. There's their pool that they're not using because it's winter. It's nice. You guys can be sure to let me know what you think. They got the stoop here, chairs on it, and now we're gonna go inside. Okay, so this room over here, this is the room that we stay in when we come visit. This is their guest room. There you go. It's actually quite nice. Okay, that's the bed that we slept in last night. <laughs> now you know. Now you know. There's our view. It's of the piles of wood. Amazing. Here's the bathroom. Floor is still wet because I showered here this morning. It's nice. It's a nice bathroom. Nothing wrong with it. It's a gas geezer. Terrible thing. Terrible because there's actually a gas bottle out there that someone can steal. Not that someone will steal it on the farm here, but it's possible. You never know. Then, out here, they've got another toilet. Nothing really special going on here. It's just a toilet and a little sink. It looks nice. Look. Look at that. It's actually quite nice. Then, there's a doorway going through here, which is apparently locked. Oh no, it's not. There you go. Okay, there's the gas bottle that can be stolen. This is the office, which we'll get to now, and there's the car that you need inside me. Oh, ah, the door! Oh, it slammed. Okay, let's go. Let's keep going. That's Sophia again, the sulky puppy. Kitchen. Wow, look at this. I like the little island that they got in the middle here. It's quite nice. The stove is over there. There's the little microwave, fridge, whatever. This is the goodie cupboard. There's like a whole bunch of sweets and snacks and other stuff in here that I'm not allowed to touch because it's actually my parents. But let's be serious, I touch it anyway. <laughs> okay, there's the fridge and this is very boring actually. Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. There's the mysterious coat rack. That's the jacket that just fell off it. This is their lounge. Well, I would say this is their dining room, but they don't really often use this table, okay? I must say that we more often just eat outside at the table, on the deck out there, instead of eating here. Because my parents prefer to be outside. There's a big photo wall here. <laughs> that is, that's my sister's child. Isn't he handsome? Wow. There he is again. There's Helena Nero. Wow. How handsome. There's Twinson up there. That actually looks like me. A uh, whole bunch more baby photos here. And all sorts of other family photos. Here's the coffee machine that everyone loves because no one else has one like this and it makes really good coffee. There's another fireplace there. You can tell quite clearly that my parents like making fires. <laughs> it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. But whenever there's an opportunity to make a fire, they'll be like, yeah, let's do it. Why the heck not? Here's a, another fireplace. <laughs> this is actually more like a room heater kind of thing. But still, you put more coal in there than you do wood. But it's meant to heat the room up. And you could pretty much just call it a fireplace. That's their TV cupboard over there. You want to see what kind of TV they have? It's a Telefunken. And it's pretty big. they got all the other stuff in here like decoders and amps and whatever. DVD players. Big sound system here. Twinson in the corner there. How handsome. Such a nice dog. This is actually one of Helene's pieces. She drew that. If anyone wanted to know, if you were wondering, she drew that. Isn't it amazing? It's really nice. It was actually a um, request by my mother. What do you call it? She did it on consignment. What, what, what is the word? I don't know. I don't care. It just it escaped me right now. This is my parents' room. Oh, that's another one of Helene's. And that's another one of Helene's. Jeez Louise. She's all over the place here. Oh, oh, and there's another one of Helene's over there. What the heck? That's also Helene's. And once again, people ask her to draw stuff, she draws it for them. My parents' room, over here. The dogs are going to vegetate into here, okay? They're going to make this their own. They will, like, scuffle up this bed as much as they possibly can and spend the next two weeks on it. Why not? Usually they sleep on that beanbag over there or on that chair over there or in the beanbag in the corner there. Why not? In here, this is their, I suppose you call it their closet, okay? There's their bath, well, this is their toilet. There you go, very boring. Closet, they shower. They don't have a bath because no one really baths in this day and age. There you go. This 
is the other guest room. It's actually my mom's office. There's her PC over there. And they used to have all the other office PCs in here for my father and my sister's husband. His name is Paul. They used to all put their stuff in here, but then they moved it outside, which I'm going to show you right now. It's pretty much the last thing that I'm going to show you, but the beds are here for if they need another guest room. Then that's just another door outside. So, now, out to the office. I'm not going to show you inside the office, but they did build the office here recently. That's a Wendy house with like garden equipment in. And this is a office that they built. They actually, it's very nice. Okay, look what they did to the stairs and stuff. It's really, really pretty. Oh man, it's windy. It is so windy. Just have a look. <laughs> I'm not going to bother talking if it's so windy. But there you go. That's the office. Okay. And then all their vehicles are parked here. At least the ones that they left. It's like farm vehicles that people use when they need to do stuff around the farm. Okay. And over there is our car. And Eileen is sitting in it. Uh, I don't blame her once again. I just don't blame her, okay? I want to go home to play Guild Wars as well. Then, that's a cottage. Once again, it's just like a guest cottage. My sister and her husband stayed in there for a good couple of months while they were building their house. And it's quite nice, but I'm not going to show you in there. That's the factory, that's the wine cellar. Then up the road, there's the woman who's going to stay here for the next two weeks. And that's Nero in the car. Come, boy. Nero, come. There you go. Hello, man. We haven't seen you in this video. What's a video without Nero Puppy? It's not good. That's the answer. It's not good. Then there's the rest of the farm. You've actually seen a good bunch of the farm already in other videos, but I thought I'd give you a tour of my parents' house. I hope you like it. We can call this Cribs. I don't know what, uh, what, what Lumen's parents. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what kind of Cribs we can call it, but that's a so windy. Hold on. I apologize. I apologize profusely because that wind is intense. Intense. But here we are, back inside. And that's probably gonna be it for this video. Man, we need to leave. This wind is actually trying to blow us off the farm, okay? That's what this wind is trying to do. I have to just dismiss the battery thing. Who cares about low battery? Not me. So, that's me with this video. Hope you guys liked the tour of Lumen's parents' manor. It's not much of a manner, but it's nice, okay? It's very nice, and they got such a nice view too. We are going to head out now, as I said, to visit my sister and them, and Nero's going to play with their dogs because they got some cute puppies as well, and then we're going to go home. We're going to log into Guild Wars and do some jumping puzzle races because that's happening tonight. So again, check back soon for more. Most importantly though, happy touring the Lumerant's house. <laughs> that's it. Cribs. Lumeran style. Perfect. I like the sound of that. There's the phantom jacket that decided to jump off the hangar. Near boy, what do you say about this house? Do you like it? Yes, of course you do. Check out some more. Most importantly, though, happy Lumeran's house.